On today's video, we're going to take a tour of the interior of our off-grid cabin. Hey there, outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, this video is going to be a tour of the interior of our off-grid cabin. We often call this our camp or our deer camp. I've shown this cabin many times in earlier videos that I've done. I've done specific videos on different aspects of the camp before. The sauna, the wood stove, the electricity, the outhouse. I've done videos on the different additions that we've put on this camp. And of course, I've done videos on our crew using the camp in all four seasons. And if you're interested in any of those videos, I'll leave links to all of them down in the description of this video so you can check them out. But for this video, we're just going to be going through the interior of the camp. So maybe you can kind of get a feel for what it's like just to spend some time out here. Okay, we're going to start this tour all the way to the back of the camp. All the way into the bunk room. back of the bunk room we've got a coyote pelt hanging there Scott shot that coyote it's hanging off of a small buck that I shot many years ago and we've got our framed picture of Lambeau Field up there got a guitar hanging there Scott plays a little guitar Nothing too out of the ordinary. A couple of bunks right back here so we can sleep four back in our bunk room. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Pretty standard stuff. And even though the entire camp really is like one big room of multiple additions, you know, we really don't have like separate bedrooms or separate rooms that are divided by doors. We do have a little bit of a, I don't know, privacy blanket for our bunk room here. We can slide this blanket over. It's kind of like a shower curtain. So if a couple guys want to kind of sleep in and there's other guys in the other part of the camp, it kind of keeps it a little dark in here. And then as we move a little further back, we've got our like beer can collection puzzle framed up up there kind of a fun spot for it we've got cabin boy larry's spiced rum carton up there and then just your standard stuff a lot of utensils hanging on the wall next to the cook stove other side we got a lot of pots and pans hanging there pretty standard stuff some tea kettles Scott's old school coffee maker there, you know, that's all pretty neat stuff up there. That's where we keep our uh, off-grid burner toaster. Probably see me use that in some other videos. And the countertop, that's the water supply, sink, some little tubs. Pretty much normal stuff there. Same thing again over on this side, pretty standard stuff. We do have a lantern, gas lantern hanging there in case we run out of power from the battery bank. Window, more countertop, you know, cabinets. Like I say, pretty standard stuff. We do have a uh, statue of Reggie White up there and a uh, nice packer. Uh, can cozy there and I will kind of apologize ahead of time for some of the non Packer fans you know we we do have quite a bit of Packer paraphernalia 
in and about the camp. So again, I apologize for that. Just kind of bear with us. And here we have the paper towel dispenser. It's actually a real buck rub. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of a interesting way, I think, to dispense your paper towels on a real buck rub taken from the woods. And just another cabinet. And as you back up further than this, this kitchen area, was actually the first addition that we added on to the camp. Okay, and we'll back up a little bit again. And this was the entryway that we had on that first edition. Looks very different now. Now it's just kind of a, you know, we keep clothes, we have some shelves, keep a little bit of food, some cabinets. It's just kind of a, a lay down area for stuff. Yeah, I've got my cooler down there for this trip. That sort of thing. So this is kind of just like a little bit of a utility area, but it used to be the entryway to that first addition that we put on the camp. And again, if you watch that progression video, you'll see how this like big shelf up here was actually overhead bedding you know we used to kind of sleep overhead when the camp was really small you know that that original part where the bunk room is now that was actually like kind of a main living space and we had our, our little you know kitchen area in here with the dining table in here but there was really no room for bed so all the sleeping was done overhead so if you're kind of interested in how that looked and how that went you'll have to check out that video but we're much bigger now and we've got a real true bunk room now so the bunk room the original camp we added that kitchen area that was the first edition this was the entryway to that first edition that we built and we'll back up some more and, and get to our big main edition that we did in 2017 so we'll just kind of spin right around here and we'll start at the door and right above the main entry door, we have our three-point lounge and billiard room saw sign. And my daughter painted that. My oldest daughter turned out pretty nice. And we named the camp the three-point because that was the first buck that we shot out here. Moving over to here, you know, there's your standard racks on the wall that you generally have at most deer camps. And right here we've got this coat rack. Scott actually made this, pretty cool. You can see the hooks are actually railroad spikes. So that's, that's quite a bit of character. Certainly like that uh, coat rack, coat hanging area. And come over to here, just your standard clock. And we do have a Sather's General Store calendar. We actually have the November 1959 page and uh, Scott framed that up. It was actually a relative of his that owned that general store. So we keep that here in the camp. It's a pretty cool calendar. Pretty neat picture. A couple of old timers getting a deer out of the woods. They got it hanging off the stick, right? I mean, we actually did that one time out here. We hauled a buck out of the woods with a stick like that. I'll, I'll see if I can dig up that picture and include it in this video, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then it's on to the wood stove. It's a pretty cool wood stove. It's big, which is nice. You know, this is our big source of heat for the entire camp. Got that nice top. You can keep water warm on the top. We've got that uh, heat activated fan. The wood stove's not quite hot enough to activate it right now, but uh, when the wood stove really gets rolling, that fan gets uh, spinning pretty fast. It's this Ashley wood stove. And really, if you want more information about this Ashley wood stove and kind of how it works, I did do a separate video on that too. I'll leave you a link for that also. But it's kind of a wood stove inside of a metal shroud. 
it's kind of interesting you know you've got this main you know fire box here got the ash pan down there but then it's all encased in kind of this sheet metal shroud which is a pretty cool design and it does have this automatic mechanical thermostat okay and I won't really get into that too much for this video but if you're uh, at all more interested in how that actually works like I said I'll leave a link to that video I did just specifically on this wood stove and you can get some more insight into that and behind the wood stove we've got a small portion of my beer can collection on display seems pretty fitting for inside the camp that beer can collection that's another thing that I did a separate video on if you want some more details about the cans I'll leave a link to that video also and that brings us over to here we've got this wooden match dispenser and there's actually a picture of the Kramer on it some of you might know what that's about um, he's quite the scoundrel but I just can't look away you know leave some comments if you know what I'm talking about and then above that we've got this pretty cool burl clock Scott made that too um, as you'll see Scott's pretty handy with the woodworking uh, he's done a lot of really unique cool items here out at the camp and then we come over and we come to the entertainment center and my wife actually made this little shelving unit entertainment center works out great out here got the TV on it and you know the old school 80s boom box with the cassette on it which is super cool and you'll notice we got the hi-fi antenna right you wrap a little aluminum foil over the tip of the antenna and that just boosts the power of the antenna like crazy right you guys all know that trick right okay and then next to the 80s boom box we've actually got this pool plane trophy that uh, apparently I won many 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 years ago and we got that pretty cool buck picture that Scott drew it's really nice those cigarettes next to it it's kind of a long story uh, and none of us even smoke out here but uh, you know maybe that uh, maybe I'll explain the story why those cigarettes are there someday but uh, for now they're just there and we've got that largemouth bass on the wall there my dad caught that many many years ago he just had it in his basement and I thought you know what that uh, that bass deserves to to be in a little bit better setting so he let me bring it out here and have it on display and just down the road from it here we've got a walleye that I caught Eh, quite a few years ago too that's actually like 29 and three quarters inches it was nine and a half pounds and it was caught from a pretty small inland lake so it, it's a it's a true trophy for a, a small inland lake walleye and we got our little bulletin board got a little packer paraphernalia on that we've got some Packer stuff along the edge here as you can see again I apologize to you non Packer fans and then kind of moving on to the other side of the room we've got these deer themed pins that we put on the wall every year get a new one every year a couple of old school thermometers there um, we're back again to Sather's General Store, uh, like from the calendar, and then we've got a, a Norman Oil Company thermometer there too, pretty cool. And your standard racks that you find at most deer camps. And then in the corner here, inside that jar is like a little Nerf football 
and it's actually signed by Larry McCarron who was a past Packer player and he still does uh, a lot of Packer interviews and he does uh, the radio call on the Packer games to this day but uh, yeah Larry McCarron kind of a legendary Packer and that brings us over to your standard lounge chair end table and this lamp this is a pretty cool lamp um, friend of mine in Scotts our friend uh, Mark made this lamp for the camp he uh, he had come out to the property and got some of these burls off the property we, we have a lot of these burls on the property out here at the camp and he makes things out of them he came out one day and got a truckload of them he was happier than heck so uh, yeah he made us this lamp so that's that's a really neat lamp to have out here at the camp and the couch and this couch does fold out into a bed which is kind of handy so we can sleep a few more people if need be back to the standard racks on the wall and uh, yeah we've got a an old compound bow hanging off one of the racks who knows maybe sometime you just got to grab that and shoot something you never know and that brings us around to the gun rack out here at the camp nothing special homemade again Scott made that too like I said he's he's the handy one with the woodworking a couple racks and we do have this polar heat seat up here and I brought that out just to kind of hang up there it's those are kind of interesting to me um, I think it's kind of funny uh, how they how they kind of come advertised to be like these super hot heat seats and heat cushions and all these different names they gave them but um, a few years ago I did write a humorous article about ice fishing with those and it did get published in In Fisherman magazine and you know I'll see if I can round up a link that'll bring you to that article if you're interested in reading it but yeah anyways I have some kind of fond memories of uh, these old orange heat cushions and then that brings us down here to the kitchen table where we eat all our meals and also to one of the crowning jewels of the camp the leg lamp right I think you guys know where the leg lamp originated from if you do leave a few comments below but uh, yeah yeah you gotta gotta love the leg lamp right guys and that really kind of brings us back full circle right a few more racks on the wall but I did want to uh, point out the dry erase board okay um, we'll put different things on the dry erase board it's kind of fun to to do that maybe you guys recognize some of the sayings on the dry erase board maybe you just kind of think they're funny but we usually try to leave something uh, different on the dry erase board every time we come out to the camp but anyways that kind of brings us full circle back around to the front door and the three-point lounge and billiard room sign all right guys well thanks for checking that out with me and also Remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. Thanks for watching and God bless.